begin with the nation's effort to track concussions in young athletes. Now, the study starts today and it's launching right here in North Texas. Yona Gavino joins us live now with what this now means for student athletes. Hi, Yona. Hey, good afternoon, guys. I can tell you, Ken, really the idea behind this is pretty simple. Here's how it works. Student athletes who report getting injured, especially something like a concussion, a brain injury, they're going to be encouraged to report this to, say, their school nurse or their head athletic trainer or their coach. And these adults are then going to put the info into an online system that tracks concussions. You could say 15-year-old Raina Reyes is a star soccer player. I just got scouted and I just went for a tryout and then they just kept inviting me back and then it just led to the, uh, the World Cup qualifiers and then the World Cup and it was a great experience. About six months ago, not one but two concussions sidelined the Garland native. Growing concerns about concussions fueled the new statewide study. This rollout year you know, for 20, January 2017, uh, it will be a voluntary program. In the case of concussion, the brain ends up going back and forth. Dr. Monroe Cullum is a concussion expert who oversees the study called Contacts. We're going to be encouraging parents, if they have a concussion uh, to, to one of their kids, we're going to want to get them signed up. So the trainers will be aware of the study and they will be mentioning the study and sending people to the website to find out more information. How do you sign up? Doctors in North Texas will pour over the data, tracking two dozen sports from cheerleading, football, wrestling and soccer. Parents are encouraged to watch for warning signs. It's really important to watch for these uh, symptoms, but parents also need to be educated to know what to look for. The results could impact how brain injuries are treated nationwide. Welcome news for Raina's mom. I feel great about that um, because it will give us what we don't know. And the next step is the overall hope that it becomes a mandatory program long after this initial rollout year where it's still voluntary. Live in Dallas, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.